day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Been a, I, I remember um, there hasn't been four months now, and I think I might have missed it in the earlier. We were talking about in one of the studies the indiscretions and the yeah the of our white brothers yes their greed their avarice. Yes. Sure, after having that conversation, I had a uh, young black female steal three thousand dollars from me. Yeah. And that, that was kind of like one of them on the show. Lost me, I told you. Uh, and you got to do it the color. It ain't safe. If they ain't safe, it just jacked up as anybody else's. The United States of America had a, a people in it who had a need to get closer to God because they were in bondage. Yes, sir. But as that perceived need was diminished in their sight, they became more of who they were innately. You know, you know. The, Hey, look, hey, I better, better say this one. They became like the people that you referred to. Because far as I know is, that I, unless you tell me that they were walking on, on uh, uh, the right on path, or yeah. uh, walking on water, uh, I, I, I would say that all you did was open the door for them to be like them, opposed to be like him. Because I'm gonna tell you right now, them was not what I wanted. To, I wouldn't want it to be. Not yeah. with all the type of uh, you talking about the atrocity that was yes. put. That that is well, not right either. You know what I mean? That, that I think the generations of being able to exercise your authority. Yes, sir. Is having an unrestrained and, and that we would erode. And if we look at biblical history. The Canaanites, who were Christites, uh, Hamites, uh, were doing a lot of those things then. Yeah. I don't know, Baal, but they were causing their children to be passed through the fire. Mulek. They went. Mulek. Yeah, to Mulek. Molik. Uh, Molik, I think. They were fire their children. Yeah. I mean, they were doing some of that. Yeah. They were doing some of that. That's what I'm saying. They, Human so, sacrifice. But who were they? They were us. They, they I mean, were, us in the, in the skin, anyway, Don't forget the Jews did it, right? They, they eventually they wrote it into it. Yeah. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. So, so, and then, so I'm saying is all those complexions. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 I ain't got no. I no. They all have sinned. They come well short, well short. And so, therefore, to look at one group over another, I'm just telling you. I'm not, I'm not pleasing any of those groups. But I agree, I agree 90 percent Yeah. But I had to learn that now. Huh? huh? I had to learn that. I must admit that I had to, and I have sat and thought and rethought this man's life, but I know that you know, King's purpose didn't do the civil rights, the Adventist, well it did in a sense, but kind of indirect. It validated scripture in, in that it says all that sin comes short of the glory of God. Yeah. The only, the greatest thing that I think his work did was give us the opportunity to validate that scripture as a people. Yeah. In the United States of America, we show ourselves to be as corruptible and as moral and as decadent as any other race, color, creed that ever walked this planet. And it's manifested before us even now because among us, there are those who will leave the car doors of their cars open and cuss 
fill the airways with this stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, our young women act like dogs in heat. Our young men cannot seem to pull their pants up. There's so much about us as a people in the United States of America that if you look at it from a biblical perspective, you would say, I understand why they're being killed like they are. But the thing about people it, turn from God, yeah. they turn from the protections of God, and they receive whatever it is that the devil has for them, and it's to kill, steal, and to destroy. And so uh, people who went from Psalm 91 to Boo Delicious and uh, Snoop Dogg and I'm not, yeah, I am talking about I mean, it. Come on. But, just, but like I said, a lot of you remember that, that all, that's, that's, that's all. That's that's all. That, and I also, that, that, you're not talking about the entire group, is all I'm saying. All, 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 all young men. Mankind, period. Yeah. Across the board. Because my mother, you, brothers, sisters, and those who do the will of my father, we just didn't have it. That won't change. Yeah. That won't change. Not anymore. Uh, but I ain't gonna tell them now. I used to be, they call it what, e e ethnocentrism. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I used to be like really, you know, ate up when it came to black people in America because I thought that for some reason in the last 10 time, they imputed some level of righteousness to us. And I can honestly say without reservation now that I know that's a lie. Right. It's not gonna, righteousness won't be based on the complexion, whether it's white or black, red they won't. or not. Nope. The only only path for righteousness, as you know, we just said about Christ Jesus. And That's it. There's, there's a, a good remnant of believers, whether they're black or white, that are true followers of Christ Jesus. Amen. He bears fruit of the Spirit. Um, Amen. Not to say that they, they have arrived, but they have at least bear some good fruit. You know? I find that people who are oppressed have a tendency to move toward Christ with a little bit more fervor. Me, just like and because most of us are looking for an escape route, you know what I'm saying? And as long as we meet them, like with the children of Israel, whenever they went bondage, they were dil the diligent to follow God. But yeah. as soon as the constraints, restraints, uh, oppression was relaxed, they go right back to being who they were. Yeah. Deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Yeah. And, and that's us. I mean, as a people in the United States of America, that has been the the story of those who were brought over as African slaves. But, but, but don't forget the people that, that, that brought us over too. That's all I'm trying yeah, to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to say that the heart of man is desperately wicked. All of them. Race, in that, in fact, there's only one race, the human race. But I'll just go ahead with it. Like, all of the races, yeah. color, people, uh, de de stuff, uh, decadence, that the uh, immoral behavior, uh, all that stuff. I mean, you can't sit there and say the people that used to raid the slave houses were squared away, right? You can't, you can't say the people used to lynch black people uh, in slavery or even after slavery were righteous people, right? You, you, I, I, matter of fact, I, I, there's an element of demonic in there about some of the stories where they, they remember they burnt, they mutilated a man while he was alive. They took his, they cut his fingers off. They cut his toes off. They cut his penis off. They burned him alive, and then they cut some of the skin and sold it for good yeah. luck. Well, the Jews, they had Jew skin lamps. During, during the Holocaust, I mean, we think about the, the atrocities that they experienced. And, um, I mean, they made juice skin wallets. Woo. They harvested the gold from their teeth. They didn't the children, I mean, that they experimented on them. And like a lot of our medical knowledge, supposedly comes from the experimentation that was done on live Jews. Oh, God. I mean, these are, these are the technologies that we brought up, medical technologies. You, scientific research and stuff they were they were treated like lab rats they were seen to be no more than when we think about what happened with blacks in america but the one thing that i realized about blacks in america is that if you're a cattle if you're a horse you can't beat it but so badly or else why it won't produce you so it is imagined that there are some blacks in america that really had as an example set 
that were really done terribly because they needed to set a standard for others. But you could not just arbitrarily go around beating up slaves because it cost them with it. They had to still be able to produce. So once you whipped them, you still needed them to go to the field and pick some cotton. So we talk a lot about, and we show pictures of, but you will notice, and I know this is not fair, but you know the same pictures. I'm not saying they didn't have more pictures to show. Maybe they did or didn't. But there's very few in comparison to the numbers that were actually enslaved. So I think that uh, the harshness that they experienced was done publicly so they could control the minds of the others because you really didn't need to control them. You didn't need to weaken their vessels. You needed them producing. Yeah, yeah. So, like, it was unprofitable to be just to like be slave. any other animal, uh, yep. any person, right? Yeah. The part is that they were, they, uh, they, they were humiliated. Well, well I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna talk about the other group. They, the people were taught to hate. Yeah, they were. You caught the hate. That's their own eternal destruction. That's unfortunate. That, and that's the problem with that, right? They died. And, and we really did the public that, I think. They died in hate. Yeah. And I think that made me come more tragic than anything else, you know, because you dying going to hell. We ain't seeing a back door down there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're sure they going to make it. You know what I'm saying? Is that you didn't go, but the moon the Bible say he would hate his brother. Is a murder. Yeah, there's no eternal. Look at the word that said, no eternal life. But oh. and they, the devil deceived people to hate. Yep. Don't get any probably did the same thing with the the, the slave himself. Is you think about it? How many of those kids hate it? They still do. I mean, I think a lot of that seed is in our kids. Now I watch the behaviors of some of the kids, especially at the fast food restaurants and stuff. And I pondered that as why they just, you know, just seem to, as a norm, have such bad customer service uh, attitudes. And I, I think some of it is training, but a lot of it has to do with frustration and aggravation. And I mean, I walk with some of these kids through their school, their, their matriculation, as they call it, but, and uh, these kids were not taught. A lot of these kids were, I mean, they spent a lot of time in the classroom and learned absolutely nothing because of the construct in the classroom. Yeah. Uh, so they're frustrated, they're aggravated. They've been in school this long, they graduated, and you got a job making whatever, you know, minimum wage, and you don't see anything better coming of that. So that can be a frustrating, uh, I watched young, young men going to jail and being packed with other young men like sardines still, like the ships from over what you call it. The buck breaking process that still goes on in the prison oh, system. Yeah, yeah. That breeding of mistrust and, and, and disdain among brethren to ensure that they don't, uh, the, the media that propagates and encourages infighting among the, uh, the, the, the race itself. Yeah. Yeah. All these things are there. And these elements are to me, again, what does it say? Um, the love of money is the root of all evil. It's yeah. the economic system being played out. You know, it's still, it's still, it's still a viable system for bringing cash in. And we, we need, the hypocrisy of it is that more of us don't take credit for our portion in it. Uh -huh. We're sitting in our children in the school office too. Our kids are going to college behind some of these kids that are going to jail as well. Right. So we have to look at it. If we're really trying to fix the problem, we got to go to Jesus. Go so to we got to get fixed first. Yes, sir. You can't, fix, you can't fix a broke system with broke folks. Okay. And so that's why my job to me right now is a lot more simple than it was. Not that it wasn't simple, it's just that I wasn't aware. You know, I, I, I kind of feel for a lot of the rhetoric. Uh, you know, I got all kind of great, brilliant ideas that's going to fix uh, society and laws and this and that. Another thing is that, man, that person is broken. They broke. You can't fix a broke system with a broken person. You have to fix the person first. And that's what salvation comes with. 
that was our base. In other words, you can, I, I would say, instead of saying, made a better term is, we have to point them to the way. Yes, that's it. And, and then that's they, it. they on the rock. Yes. Now, and that, and that guy is so sweet, simple, man. I thank God for that, man. Yeah. He let me live this long, you know? <laughs> yeah. So like I say, he's the one that sanctifies. He's the one that washes. Yeah. He's the one that justifies through Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. You have to allow the truth that I've given do his work. And we get out of the way so you have his way. Hey, but we better go ahead. It's almost 12 o'clock. So I better let it go. Are you going out today? I think not. I'm sitting here just thinking about that. The way that I feel right now at this very moment, I want to. But wisdom telling me I probably need to give it another day or two. So I'll be yeah. I'll be healthy enough, you know, to really go out there and do the work because I'm having a mm, hallelujah. I'm having to acknowledge some humanity. Really? I, I, see I'm having to acknowledge some I, I might be a little bit human. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Maybe, I, I ain't even sure yet, but exactly. I've been stretching this thing and it, it appears as though I might be a little human and I might need to take some human. Amen, amen. It's a piece of measures to protect my humanity. <laughs> you, got, you got to, I believe so. I'm, I'm in agreement with you. You got to be going, you got to, you know, it's, it's, it's be led. Because if he send you, he got you covered. If you know, you can you and you have your own armor on and everything else that goes with you. You yep. got the right sword, right? And if you try yep. to your own ability, to, so you can get hey look, not that intentionally, but if you may unintentionally try to get the own get the glory, he gonna say, yeah. Well, I, no, I, 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 I'm not gonna, I'm not with y'all. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm having to really rethink a lot of things. Exactly. <laughs> It's kind of hard to tell you about healing when you're dying. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, yeah, kind of like wait for that restoration. You see how that process works and say, okay, all right then. But yeah, me and Lord are still working out some things. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Only, only Dick, you're going to be able to clear if nothing else. If we make, if we make the wrong uh, decision. The only yeah. one we can say is, hey, I've got eternal life. I, I may have messed up with everything else. I, I got a channel like I think you you want to hear when we first started. I'm gonna close with this. You remember when you was in the military? How long were you in the military? Ten years. Oh, ten years then. Okay, so you got evaluation. You got EPR. Oh yeah. All right. So you were an officer, right? You was enlisted, right? No, I was enlisted. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, but you, how would how would you like if on oh, some of these EPRs that you got? What, what rank did you make? I stopped staff. Yeah. I got out of staff. I was E5. Yeah. So you got a couple of EPRs then, right? Several, yeah. Several, right? How would you like if I gave you a, a, a rating that, or a, a write-up and say, well, Wilbur Johnson, you did well uh, with with that project I gave you. You, you did well uh, cleaning up the dorm. You, did well taking care of your troops. You know, you did well. You you did real well. You know, uh, well. Uh, and you heard all. He he put it in the right. You read it too. Elsa did well here, 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 right. And I ain't show you the numbers yet. What would you think I'd be saying? What do you think those numbers gonna look like if I just be a three? On a scale of one to five, it'd be a three. <laughs> <laughs> it'd be a three or four. That's what it'd be. That's because you, you did, did your job. <laughs> Yep. Yeah. <laughs> look, 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 look. Based on the scriptures, Jesus said, well done, my good and faithful son. You've been faithful yeah. a few things. Yes. Now I'm going to give you some more responsibility, but you yes. were only faithful over a few things. Yes. And if you go by man's definition of that, oh, you was average. Yeah, that's exactly right. And unfortunately, all of us are average. And, and the only way we're average because we only got the average because of Jesus Christ. That's legit. Amen? Amen. I just want to at you. So uh, that's why he said he gets the glory. And you just need to do well. <laughs> yeah.
Amen. Good word. Good word. Hey, good we, word. And like I said, I'll try to come up. Uh, <laughs> That's pretty good. So they tell you, Anthony, I'm doing well. You doing well. I, mean, I, I ain't doing great. I'm doing, I'm doing well. You do. Not for the pop. I'm doing. I'm doing the will of the Lord. That's it. That see, that, right, we might need to make that a message one day. Yeah. We'll make that a message one day because too many are trying to be perfect. Yeah. Too many are trying to get too deep. The there is a thing. The scripture that addresses this says, "Be not overly righteous. Why should you destroy yourself?" Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen, brother. All right, well, you have a good one. Like I said, Sunday, I'll come up early, but I just won't. I can't see it for Don't stay on that long. Okay. All right. All right, then, Lord, the Lord bless you. You have a good trip out. And uh, we'll see you when you get back. Thank you. God bless you. Take care. God bless you.